Hey guys, what is up? Game Brothers here, and we're gonna be doing something a little different today. Instead of playing a game, we're going to be talking about a game. And what game, you may ask? Well, that game is Pokemon. Now, Pokemon is a cool game. You expect it to be like a child's game, but Pokemon actually has some dark secrets. Of course, I don't like obviously things like this weren't like intentional or anything but we're going to be talking about a specific thing from back then like way back to like Pokemon Red and Blue so there were many glitches back there and one of the glitches or so like this is a Pokemon myth one of the myths were about this Pokemon named White Hand it just I know, right? It's, it's such a weird Pokemon. And its trainer was this thing. Yeah. It's really weird. It's like this zombie coming out. Or maybe this. It's bigger. And it would say things like this. So very lonely. Now, this, this was supposed... This guy was supposed to be some final boss. But, I don't... Like, it's supposed to be a final boss, but really... Is this really a myth? Did, did someone just like go home and just make this like myth? Like go home and um, hey, I'm gonna start a myth about this zombie coming out of the ground. I don't think this was ever implemented, but there were many like theories about what would happen when you lost because we, uh, they never coded what would happen if you lost. Like this is all very confusing though. So I'm sorry. So, um, let's have a recap. Okay, so we're talking about Pokemon. And then there's this weird Pokemon named White Hand, whose trainer is a zombie coming out of the ground. So, that's what happened so far. Now, this, um, so although this is a myth, I don't really believe it, but let's say it's not a myth, okay? So, because, so now that, um, so now that I said that, Let's pretend it's not a myth. Let's say it's real. They never coded what would happen if you lost or won. If you won, the game would just freeze. And that's it. That, that was how you beat the game. It, um, and by the way, you would only find this guy in Lavender Town on the third floor. Or was it when you... Oh, yeah. No, never mind. It was when you try to save Mr. Fuji from Team Rocket. On the, uh, yeah, um, but um, this guy was supposed to be a final boss. This was how you're supposed to beat the game, and he, he like I said, he had this guy named White Hand. But when you beat him, the game just froze, like I already said a while ago. Um, and um, what, what? But if you lost something, what what happened is that um, it would freeze as well. But this one guy posted on the internet that what would happen is that this screen would show up. This screen. This scary screen that says game over. But before this happened, it would say finally fresh meat. And then there would be crunching sounds. It's very scary. Very, very scary. This stupid screen came up. It said game over. No other Pokemon game ever said game over. But of course, this is just a myth. It's not true. I don't, well, I don't think it's true. You may think it's true, but there are many glitches in red and blue, and I don't think any of this was intentional. Now, before I leave, I'm going to talk about one more thing. And that's Lavender Town Syndrome. What Lavender Town Syndrome basically is, is um, the very first game where it was re released in Japan is that um, there's high frequency would come up in, in the song in Lavender Town. And it's very, very creepy. And it you, I heard it. it. It's so, like... It gives you a very weird feeling. Um, I I can't explain the feeling though. It's 
just makes you feel weird. And uh, don't ask an adult to hear it, because otherwise, no, because um, the, the adult can't hear it. It's be- it was between, uh, this happened to people, like this weird feeling came out to people who are at the age of 10 to 15. And that's only because their ears are really good because they're young. But the adults, they can't hear it because it's too, the frequency is too high for them to hear it. Um, and what it did was it caused people to murder themselves. That's the second myth. Um, but, like, not not in the game. In real life, this... So that's why when it was released in America, they had changed the music to this. Shout out to Twist and Turns for making this mu- for putting this music on YouTube as you saw. It's my pro editing skills. Just kidding. Um, you should go subscribe to him. Subscribe. Okay, and like his video, which is over he... Wait, he... Whoops. <laughs> well, that's a fail. Um, yeah, so this is um, one of the, the many myths of Pokemon. Well, ending on a more happier note, here's a little picture for you guys to look at. Um... Yeah, those are two very, very, very creepy myths, creepy pastas from Pokemon, and it's I'm still laughing at this picture. <laughs> it's it's really funny actually, um, but yeah. Oh, I can't I can't get over the fact that how creepy this is. But remember that all of this isn't it's probably like ninety percent tr- like false, false, not true. Um, because I mean, listening for music, who would kill themselves? And also, do you think someone would really j- one of the programmers from? Nintendo would really just put in some white hand and crazy zombie and a game over. It's actually, if you think about it, really stupid. And, um, yeah, it's just basically really stupid. Who? I mean, none of the um, people are from J- um, that Japanese company named Nintendo are stupid. Like, none of them. Yeah. Oh, my God. I suck it with words. Now, yeah. Can't get over the fact about how scary this is. Okay, I'm actually not that scared, huh? But I hope this didn't scare you too much. Make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Also, subscribe to join the Gamer Army, and I'll see you guys later.